welcome to another video. If you are new here, I am Stacey York and today we are going to be tasting some Aldi fall finds. Aldi is like one of my favorite stores. I shop there every single week and in the past few years they have started to gain more fall items and holiday items and they're a little bit cheaper than some other stores which is incredible because you can get these really cool items for an affordable price which is amazing because sometimes seasonal items can be kind of expensive even at Trader Joe's which I feel like everyone gets on the Trader Joe's bandwagon but I am an Aldi girl. I'm gonna go ahead and dive right on into it. We have a wide variety of things, some beverages, some sweet things, not really any salty things. There's one that I'm gonna talk about that we already tried and let me just tell you, it was not good at all. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get started with the ice cream because I don't want it to melt because I hate things that are supposed to be frozen that are melted. Pumpkin spice ice cream. I'm gonna be honest with you, I bought this a couple weeks ago and really tried hard not to eat it until I filmed this video, but I failed. But I'm still gonna do a little taste test for you guys, let you know what my current thoughts on this ice cream are. Still good. It's very sweet, so if you don't like really sweet things, maybe you won't like this, but you probably don't like anything that's pumpkin spice if you don't. Pretty cinnamon heavy, which I really like. So if you like sweet cinnamon pumpkin spice, this is exactly what you would expect it to be. But I will say the ice cream is very fluffy. Like it feels fluffier than normal ice cream. I don't know if that's the pumpkin in there or what, but I am here for it and it is very good. I highly, highly recommend this ice cream. It is so, so yummy. So the other one that they have is this apple cinnamon, which I have not tried, but I'm very, very excited for it because I really like cinnamon things. Sometimes I'm not the biggest fan of artificial apples, so. We will see how they did with this one. The consistency is also pretty fluffy, it seems like. Let's see. It's okay. Yeah, the artificial apple, not totally my favorite. Definitely not as good as the pumpkin spice one, but if you like apple, this might be it. It's a lot less cinnamon than I would like it to be. I really like cinnamon ice cream and just cinnamon things in general, so I wish there was more cinnamon in it. It's not bad. It does feel like it has like actual apple pieces in it, just really, really small ones. So if you like that, then you may like this. It's not doing it for me the way that the pumpkin spice does, but still good if you like apple. If you're expecting more cinnamon, maybe pass. I'm gonna go put these back in the freezer so they don't melt and I will be right back. Okay, I'm back. So I'm gonna go ahead and try this pumpkin spice trail mix next because I'm really excited for this one. And it's a little bit different than I feel like what you would normally expect. So there's a few different things in here which I will try to read off what they are. You got this big guy, which I'm assuming is something that is covered in yogurt. And then there's also peanuts. And I'm not sure what these things are, but they're the, like little cookie pieces and then pumpkin seeds as well. Looks like peanuts cinnamon squares are what those little cookie pieces are. Yogurt flavored raisins. So apparently those are raisins that are covered in yogurt and then pumpkin seeds. So that's kind of what is in this. It smells really yummy. I'm gonna try. A cinnamon thing. That's good. It definitely takes on the taste of the peanuts. Peanuts taste like peanuts. It's not screaming pumpkin spice. It kind of just tastes like peanuts. It's really good, but it's not screaming pumpkin spice. So if you're anticipating a really pumpkin-y trail mix, this is not it, but it is really good. Like I would definitely would not pass this up. I just don't really know if you can call it pumpkin spice other than the fact that it has pumpkin seeds in it, but still good. I would give it like a eight out of 10. So I have this cinnamon pumpkin latte candle, which I'm just gonna smell for you guys. I haven't opened it yet. 
Very, very cinnamony, which I like. It's cinnamon with a slight hint of pumpkin, which in the arena of pumpkin spice things is my favorite way to go, just like with the ice cream. Now, I, I would give that candle a nine out of 10 for cinnamon candles. I, it's not very pumpkin-y, but it does the job. I got pumpkin butter now. So this is basically just sugar and pumpkin, so I don't really know what you can do wrong with it. I'm just gonna try it with a spoon. I don't really know what to put it with. I guess toast. You could probably put it in your oatmeal. That'd probably be good. The consistency is weird. We'll see how it tastes. You could maybe put that in oatmeal. I don't really know what else it would be good with. It gives pumpkin pie, and I'm not a big fan of pumpkin pie. So that's honestly not my favorite. I'd probably give that like a five out of 10. I don't really know what I expected from it, but not my favorite flavor, definitely very pumpkin pie-y. So let's move on. Pumpkin spice yogurt covered pretzels. I anticipate these being very yummy, but we'll see. Ooh, it smells like maple leaf. It's giving the slightest hint pumpkin spice. Overwhelmingly just a pretzel with yogurt on it. It pretty much just tastes like any like vanilla flavored yogurt pretzel with a slight aftertaste of pumpkin spice. Not bad. Again, I would eat them. Probably like a seven out of 10. Pretty good. Now, I'm gonna talk about Shabani. Oh, pumpkin spice creamer. You can get this at Aldi, at least my Aldi, you can get this. And let me tell ya, it's the best pumpkin spice creamer. It is so good, I love it so much. You don't need a lot of it, it is pretty sweet, but it really just gives the pumpkin spice a little less sweet than like Starbucks pumpkin spice flavoring, but super, super, super good. So if you don't like it quite as sweet, I would definitely recommend this. Very yummy. It's oat-based, it's yummy, it's delicious. I know there's something going around about oat milk and how it's not good for you now, but I'm gonna definitely continue using that because it's so good. It froths amazingly. It smells delicious, it tastes delicious. It's just the right balance of pumpkin flavor to spice flavor. It is the best creamer, so highly recommend that. I've had it in several things and it is so yummy. So let me go on to some other beverages. This is the Wicked Grove Hard Cider, cider, which technically is always at Aldi, but I think that it's very fall and festive. I love a hard cider for fall festivities. Is this a not a screw off? Nope, I definitely need a bottle opener for this. I'll be right back. Okay, let's crack this boy open. Let me give it a sip. Yep. It's a very tart, hard cider. So if you like tartness, would recommend. I don't know what else to say about this one. It's definitely very tart. So if you don't like really tart things, maybe steer clear of it. Not super sweet, but still good. I'd give it like a seven out of 10. The next beverage that I have is this sparkling fresh pumpkin spice apple cider. I'm hoping this will be very good. This is not a hard beverage, it's just a cider. It smells very spicy and pumpkin-y. Let's give it a taste. I love it. This is really good. It's a little less pumpkin, a little more spice, but there's definitely still a pumpkin flavor. The apple is like just the right amount of apple. Like nothing's overwhelming in it. It's a little tart, a little sweet. It's like the perfect balance of all of the things. It's so yummy. The only thing I will say is it is 170 calories for one bottle. So 
definitely a treat, but still good. Okay, so I guess I only have one thing left, which are these maple leaf cream cookies. This is like the only like not pumpkin thing I have, I guess. Um, I think they also sell these at Trader Joe's. They're just branded differently. Also, I'm pretty sure this is something that you can buy in Canada, like year round. I have like a distinct memory of when I was in Canada. Um, trying these cookies and my sister went to school in Canada for a little while and I think I remember her talking about these so I think this is something you can buy in Canada all the time but I've only seen it in Aldi for fall and it was with all the fall stuff so we can assume that it is fall themed there is a lot of cream in this so that's kind of interesting let me give it a go it smells very mapley I like that I like maple It's good. Mm. There's the maple. It comes through like a little bit after your first bite. It's pretty mapley. It smells more mapley than it tastes mapley, but still yummy. I could probably only eat one of these cookies. I don't even think I'm gonna finish this one with everything else that I've eaten. They're very rich with all the cream in there. Very rich, but still good. I would probably give this like a six out of ten like it's not my favorite which i'm kind of getting to the end of this haul and have had a little bit of sweet stuff so maybe it's just a little too sweet for me if you don't like sweet things probably skip on those because they're really really sweet which reminds me i have one more thing in the fridge that i want to show you guys i can't believe i almost forgot to show you this but it is pumpkin spice maple syrup and it is so so yummy brandon and i made pumpkin pancakes the other weekend and we put this on it and it is so yummy obviously it's very sweet it has some good cinnamon in it but some good pumpkin in it very 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 yummy so i'd highly recommend this it is a little bit expensive as most specialty maple syrups are i want to say this was like six dollars or something like that which is kind of excessive for a little thing of maple syrup but it's still super yummy so i would highly recommend it's very good and then there is one other thing that I want to talk about, which Brandon and I got and had for dinner a couple weeks ago. And it is Aldi's pumpkin ravioli. I'll put a picture of it on the screen, but it's gonna be a hard pass for us. Um, Brandon didn't even finish it because it was just not, not the vibe. It was not giving what it needed to. It's like you're eating pasta and it's salty and then suddenly you get pumpkin that is just overwhelmingly sweet and textured weird and not not good i believe it had like sage in it as well so it was like sage pumpkin and some kind of cheese that was in it and it was just not not good at all if you're really into pumpkin maybe it's for you but honestly i'd probably just pass on it in general it was just not good at all so probably skip on the ravioli but i would say everything else in here is pretty good i think my favorite thing is honestly probably this oat creamer so yummy love it so much definitely get this i think the thing that i would probably pass on is obviously the ravioli but pumpkin butter not really my vibe it's okay i'll probably find something to put it on maybe some oatmeal or whatever but just not the vibe for me and yeah i think that is everything that i have to review for you guys so thank you so much for watching this video if you liked it let me know if you want me to do more like aldi hauls or get certain things from aldi let me know because i love aldi so much we got our porch furniture from there which is super nice and it was only like 70 dollars, 80 dollars, i think so that was super cool we get all of our groceries from there except for some a few specialty things that we like can't get there that we go to Meyer for so let me know if you'd like me to do some more Aldi content and I will do that and if you're new here and you made it this far into the video you should definitely subscribe grow in this little community here online and I would love for you to be a part of it and comment down below whether or not you like pumpkin spice lattes because I feel like people love them or they hate them and there is no in between. So let me know what you think about pumpkin spice lattes or if you're not like a coffee drinker, then just kind of like pumpkin spice flavored things in general. I would love to hear your thoughts. 
I personally like a pumpkin spice latte when I'm doing fall related things and even then it is a little bit kind of disgustingly sweet but I feel like I still have to get at least one every year so that's how I feel about it let me know what you think and with that I will see you guys in the next one <laughs>